Okay, up next here on France 24, it is Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment uh, in association with the France 24 observers. I'm here with James Creedon. Hello, James. Hi, Tom. Now, let's begin by looking at the uh, pro-Russian Twitter accounts that you've uh, been sharing, uh, you've been looking at, because yeah. they share images claiming that the recent massacre in Butcher was either staged or exaggerated. What have you got? Right, well, it's it's more further examples, uh, Tom, of the, the, the waters being muddied ar around what's going on on the ground here in Ukraine. And the Observers team have been looking at three examples um, where the massacre that took place uh, on the 3rd of April, Russian soldiers in uh, Bucha, uh, having sort of taken seized this territory near Kiev, a terrible massacre having taken place, pretty much all of the reporting on the ground uh, affirming that that has happened. And there are examples swirling around social media on pro-Russian accounts claiming that at least some of that, if not all of it, is fabricated. Now, so the first example we're going to look at is this one here. Now, that's a still from a video and shared on this Twitter account. It's saying, what's this all about? Why are Ukrainian soldiers repositioning bodies like this? And what you can see actually is uh, there is a body and it is being dragged along by a cable. If you do a reverse image search to bring us back to the origins of that video, uh, the video is, is kind of stalling here on the AP website, but it's a video that was filmed by AP uh, journalists on the 2nd of April. And if you look at the details of that video and the text, in fact, uh, that they, they shared, the facts here are that uh, there was a fear that these bodies that were killed in uh, by Russian soldiers in Bucha might have been booby trapped. And what you had is uh, Russian uh, or Ukrainian rather um, Ukrainian soldiers going in there to clear away what was going on uh, or, or the bodies rather. And um, uh, you had this particular uh, d this particular detail that was noted by uh, by uh, the AP journalists. The Ukrainian soldiers backed by a column of tanks and armored vehicles attached cables to the bodies pull them off the streets, fearing that they may be booby-trapped with explosive devices. This is war. This is the kind of horrible stuff that can happen. And that scene is a still from Ukrainian soldiers clearing bodies off the streets of Bucha out of the fear that in going towards those bodies, there could be a further assault on Ukrainian soldiers. Now, it's very easy to see how that can be misconstrued and how a cable dragging a body along could be presented uh, or represented as staging an event, a sort of me an elaborate mise-en-scene to create the illusion uh, that uh, this massacre was invented. Mm, and that's, that's certainly one of the claims that these pro-Putin uh, apologists put up on their... Um, yeah on their Twitter feed. Right. Um, now you've got an example involving a plastic mannequin. Again, I, I think I can see where this is headed. All right, and this, you know, we, we see fake news stories a lot involving fat plastic mannequins. There's actually, uh, I suppose, there were examples in the COVID-19 pandemic as well. And indeed, in this particular tweet here, what you see is a person in French uh, mentioning the COVID-19 pandemic, then saying, look, here we have further false deaths being associated with this war. Uh, several uh, weeks and months ago, we were showing images of uh, hospital drills where uh, where mannequins were being used. Uh, the details of that can be found on our website. But in this particular case here, you can see a body, a plastic mannequin. And again, you can see how perhaps a naive person just reading, taking this at face value would think that this is a staging of uh, deaths associated with the massacre in Bucha. Now, if you go to the actual facts, or again, rever go, re reverse image search the video, it's a video that was published uh, on the sixth, uh, on the 3rd of April, rather, um, and the details of this particular uh, video, if you bring it back to, if you take it back to the TikTok account from which it originated, is that this is a scene uh, from a series that was being filmed in St. Petersburg. So actually the, the audio on this is in Russian as well. And uh, the actor in, in question uh, is a, a guy by the name of Philippe Fedorchuk uh, and his uh, his Twitter, his, his TikTok account, uh, you can see it here, has a whole, you can see that's the video I was talking about in question, right? So it's, it appears on his TikTok account and he has a whole range of other videos showing plastic mannequins and whatnot. He's been filming, according to his Instagram accounts, two series recently, Admirals of the District 2 and Conditional Cop, both of them in St. Petersburg. So there you go. That was a, a scene filmed in Russia and it's being misconstrued by some on uh, social media uh, saying that it's uh, more filming of fake deaths in this instance related to the war. To the war, You can see that in French there, the faux mort, faux mort de, la guerre, de la guerre. So another example of how images are being misconstrued and misrepresented mm. to uh, magic up uh, a faked massacre. Well, it's totally sick when you consider there are enormous numbers of genuine 
horrific casualties in this war. Absolutely. Um, and finally, you've got an example of a young Ukrainian woman who faked her own death in Bucha. What's this? All right about? now, this is the, the layers of sort of um, uh, di di dis dis disinformation, I suppose, because in this particular instance, uh, it's, it's kind of unclear why this woman juxtaposed an image of herself with uh, a dead image. She gives an explanation. We, we'll just have to take it at face value. But in any case, see, here you can see an image of a, a woman uh, by the name, going by the name, well, by the name of Nastya, and an image where she shows herself lying down as a dead body in the street. Now, um, it claimed that there are several pro-Russian accounts. You can see this one here uh, in French claiming that that juxtaposition and her uh, representation of herself as a dead woman, uh, that this was shared online in a bid to participate in an operation generating fake news, right? That she was an actress in, 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 in some way, shape or form. Now, if, if you find her Instagram account, she gives an explanation. She says, look, hello world. This particular uh, juxtaposition got a lot, of, a lot of attention. My name is Nastya, I'm Ukrainian. My photos are on the left. This could have been any of us raped, killed by Russians just for being Ukrainian. So she is claiming that she was doing this in order, as a, in, a, in, a, in a bid to draw attention to the massacre. I suppose one of these uh, sort of meme-like images that you can find on social media. Now, what gives a certain amount of credibility to that is she's not the only one. Here's a woman by the name of Yulia, also Ukrainian. She did the same thing. So it seems to be rather limited. It hasn't taken off in any wild uh, uh, form online, but a way of drawing attention to the massacre. This could have been any of us. So that's another example of how uh, information or images are being misrepresented uh, related to the Bukha massacre. Mm, yeah, well, you can see the Kremlin playbook at work, uh, working overtime, obviously, on, on, on the and just a And just a reminder that it really, you have to go to the reporting, listen yeah. to the reporters, listen to our reporters uh, on the ground, because there's a huge amount of false information uh, with an agenda swirling around on social yeah. media related to what's happening in Ukraine right now. Yeah, they're trying to confuse and uh, muddy the waters, as you said. Thank you so much, James Thanks, Frieden. Tom. Thank you very much indeed.